Uh, Doc? Shh! Don't say a word. Uh, Doc? I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know anything about you. Well, listen, Doc. Quiet! <laughs> Doc, Doc, it's me, Marty. Don't tell me anything. Doc, you gotta help me. Quiet! Look, quiet! I'm gonna read your thoughts. Let's see now. You come from a great distance? Yeah, exactly. Don't tell me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is, like, this is great. Um... Uh, you want me to buy a subscription to the Saturday Evening Post? No. Not a word, not a word, not a word now. Quiet. Uh, donations? You want me to make a donation to the Coast Guard Youth Auxiliary? Doc, I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. Now I need your help to get me back to the year 1985. My God, do you know what this means? It means this damn thing doesn't work at all. <laughs> <laughs> doc, Doc, seriously, you gotta help me. You're the only one who knows how your time machine works. The time machine? I, I haven't invented any time machine. Okay, all right, I'll prove it to you. Look at my driver's license. Expires 1987. Now look at my birthday for crying out loud. I haven't even been born yet. And look at this picture. My brother, my sister, and me. Look at the sweatshirt, Doc, class of 1984. Pretty mediocre photographic fakery. I, he can really say it, so I'll go. Me <laughs> mediocre photographic fakery. They cut off your brother's hair. I'm telling the truth, Doc. You gotta believe me. Okay, so tell me, future boy, who's the president of the United States in 1985? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? The actor? Then who's vice president? Jerry Lewis? <laughs> I suppose Jane Wyman is the first lady. Whoa, 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 wait, Doc, wait. And Jack Benny is the secretary of the treasury. <laughs> Look, please, you gotta listen to me. I got enough practical jokes for one evening. Good night, future boy. No, wait, Doc, the bruise, the bruise on your head. I know how that happened. You told me the whole story. You were under a bed in Pittsburgh, only it was 1920, and suddenly you weren't there because you were in the future, and there was no more Pittsburgh. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Billy you West. Know, you know.